Hello everybody, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. So this is something that I've wanted to play for quite a while, again, because it's one of my favourite games, and it's definitely something different to what's normally on the channel. Ah, I can't, I can't go, okay, I forgot. Let us start. Right, so, changes. I have started using my keyboard again, because the controller was annoying me. And what else? Yeah, I've tried altering the sound because the sound sounds completely off and I apologize for that. I've got no idea how to rectify it. I'm leaving. Where am I off to in such a hurry? Somewhere. So yeah, the sound is off. I've tried altering it, but I think it might be the, the microphone that I'm using. It's actually on a webcam. Um, but either way, we have a shield now. Awesome. Yes, um, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to give it a try. So this is something that I love playing. And I mean love playing. So I figured why not do a playthrough for the channel? Either way, I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone's okay. I hope everyone's enjoying their... Oh, what day is it? Friday. I hope everyone's enjoying their lovely Friday. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh. Watch me die before I even start. Oh, God. I, I was joking, game, please. There was a mysterious sword. And an owl. I love how this owl is a recurring character in The Legend of Zelda. I love owls. They're very cute. So what's everyone's favourite Zelda game? That's a good question. I'm drawn between this one and Wind Waker. Because Wind Waker's a very good game. Wind Waker is an incredibly good game. Underrated, one might say. But, yeah. No, but obviously... Um... Oh, what's it called? Ocarina of Time. How can I forget the name of it? Is obviously an incredibly popular game too. But people get quite funny if you don't play that specifically. Or speedrun it, which is odd. See, I'm the kind of person that likes taking the time with games. I like to enjoy them. So, yeah. But no, Ocarina of Time is a good game. Most Legend of Zelda games are good, to be honest. Unless you're playing the CDI ones. Please don't do that to yourself. Oh, that was something that's really cool on these. Power-ups. Also, I'm going to do my very best not to do much cutting out in this series. Because I don't think, with how straightforward this is, I don't think there is actually anything to cut out very much. Unlike the Pokemon playthroughs. Because they're usually very... Um, there's lots of grinding. Lots of random stuff to do in them. And they can be a bit... They can be a bit um, tedious, shall we say. But, yeah. No, this game is pretty much go here, do this, done. It's still a very fun game to play, though. Have I ever visited the Tail Cave? No, but I will do shortly. There's a crazy witch in this game and I love her. Die. Okay, so this first episode is either going to be really long or really short. I think the plan for this series, 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 bleh, I can't speak today, I apologise. I think the plan for this series is to do a dungeon an episode. Oh, I've messed that up. Yeah, I think I'll do a dungeon an episode. If I can. I mean, they're not long dungeons. 
but they're not short either. They take a nice decent of uh, amount of time. By the way, my skills at playing Legend of Zelda are sucky. I am far from good. So you will have to bear with if you see me dying often or making stupid choices. Like that. Again, not a Zelda pro. Just someone who merely enjoys the franchise. But yeah, I apologise if the keyboard clicking is loud again. I just... Yeah, I, I have no idea how to dull it out. But I agree, it is very annoying. It's annoying me listening to it play it. <laughs> anyway, yes, no, no grumpies. No grumpy this series. Oh, I'm going to do my best to not be grumpy. I'm going to die. Let's get rid of the annoying beeping. Oh, there was a fairy down there, actually, wasn't there? Or a heart, never mind. Or we'll use the hearts instead. Sounds like a plan. So yeah, this game, as a kid, and as an adult actually, it still sort of confuses me sometimes. So, I'm not going to look specifically through at a walkthrough. But the only time I will cut anything is probably because I've completely lost what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, what are the controls here? There. Oh my gold. See? Crazy witch. I love her. Why not try a bit in my hut? You can actually make it so you can get like... Oopsie. I will, don't you worry. Yeah. <clears throat> also, I apologise for the way I sound at the moment. My throat is very sort of scratchy. Had a bit of a weird cold the past few days and it doesn't seem to want to disappear or disappear quickly. It's a little bit annoying. Ah. I might actually just change the um change what keys I use on the keyboard. Because Using the space bar as the A button is very clicky. Just sprinkle some dust on this random ass raccoon. <laughs> Why would you randomly bite a mushroom that's in, in the forest? And now we have the tail key. Awesome. Ooh. What on earth is Link doing? Why did he try slashing with the sword? Okay. Yeah, that's one of the many wonderful charms of these old games is they come with lots of little glitches or frame rates. And it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm either going to invest in a better controller or a quieter keyboard. Or actually, maybe even a better microphone. One that won't pick up all the noise. That might not be a bad idea either. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Either way, new game. <laughs> Fall down the hole. Ah, oh, bye. And first dungeon. So, dungeons in this game, they're quite clever, I think. I genuinely think they're, a, they're clever. I think it's a good game anyway, as I keep saying. Key. Oh. 
this first boss used to drive me bananas as a kid. And then, oh god, the second boss. He's kind of creepy, I will warn you now, and I'll probably warn you at the start of the next episode too. The boss of the second dungeon is like a, like a clown thing in a bottle. And it used to freak me out as a kid. And it still kind of freaks me out now, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the nicest looking of enemies. And I don't want that acorn. It's a slightly annoying acorn. There do be a dog barking. I apologise. Yeah, I apologise for the dog barking. There appears to have been another dog barking. shield. Yeah, this game you have to use a lot of different... All the items are assigned to A and B. So it's not annoying. But it does involve a lot of going on um, the menu screen. Also, we just got Rock's Feather. This lets us, oopsie, jump. Boink. Um, I don't actually want to assign it there. That's where I want to assign it. Yeah, that's what I mean. You have to be really careful where you assign things as well, because there's no specific button to press for sword. You assign sword to A or B. Oops, a daisy. Allow me to just fall. Because I pushed A, thinking it was still on A. I'm clever, I promise. Also, I don't think there's a bomb bag in this. If I remember rightly, there's no bomb bag. Oh god. Trying to remember which way to go. Obviously up this way. Yes, I can go up this way. Oh god, okay. I feel like I might have done that wrong. Oh that's the box key. Okay, never mind. Oh, nightmare's key. That little boot boot noise you keep hearing by the way is the compass. The compass in this is very clever. It knows when there's a key in the room and we'll make a noise to signify there's a key in the room. Very handy. Okay, how many keys do I have? That's the question. Ah, oh, I've got one. I genuinely don't remember picking up that key. Ow, oh, bum. There we go. And that is the stone beak. You use it on the statue, and he gives you hints. So in the other version of this game, the Game Boy, Advan uh, game Boy Color version, no, this is the Game Boy Color version, hang on. The Game Boy, original Game Boy version, it had, um, big sort of tablets instead, and you got a shard of the tablet to actually uh, get hints throughout the dungeon. So it was never actually an owl originally. Which I think is really cool that they changed it to an owl. Oh god. Yeah, this main boss gets faster. Don't push me. Damn it. Okay, so if you get pushed down, you fall down a hole. Which happens to be 
these stairs. Oops. Yeah, so these are all enemies created by whatever it is that's stopping the windfish from hatching. They're relatively easy to beat. Well, I say relatively easy to beat. They're easy-ish. The whole premise of this game is to wake up the windfish by collecting instruments. I love the music that comes from these instruments. This is kind of what got me into making music. Then at the end of every temple, or dungeon, it tells you where to go next. So I now need to go to the swamp next. But I think that is actually a very good place to stop. Because the next stuff to do is... Yes, I need to go north. The next thing to do is to go north to the swamp. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this new series, and I will fully intend on finishing this game this time. <laughs> Promise. Right, anyway. Again, I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to like, subscribe, and click the bell if you want to see notifications of stuff coming out. And I will see you all again next time. Bye for now, guys.